Hey guys, Chris and PJ here live in the Dream Giveaway Garage. Hello everyone. Woohoo! PJ. Friday. Amazon just showed up with a weekend. And it didn't take them two days to deliver. It didn't take them two days to deliver it either. <laughs> okay. What do we got here, Chris? GTO. GTO is going to be the Fire Up Friday on Friday. <laughs> 1969. 1969 Pontiac GTO Ram Air 3 four speed convertible. You like this car, PJ? Liberty Blue. How can you not go, yeah. go wrong? Yeah, code F, Liberty Blue. And uh, we were talking about how nice this car really is. We're just listening uh, to it. We did a cold start on it uh, before we went live, and it's sounding pretty good. Uh, you guys are really going to enjoy putting this in your driveway if you're the winner. You know, uh, Roger says starting with the hood up, but yes, actually, there's a difficult. This this it's is a different. Right? Roger, it is a difficult hood. Not because I don't know how to open it. It's because there's a, a latch. This is a, there's a safety latch on 69 GMA bodies. You can see it right here. And so what you have to do is you have to pull down here, and then you come up just a little ways, and then you have to pull out again on here to get past that safety. And then you pull all the way up, and it is a heavy, heavy, heavy. Yeah, that's extremely heavy. Steel hood. When you can't get your fingers underneath. That's right. So it's really almost a two-person hood. Uh, so I asked PJ to give me a hand with it. Yeah. See if you've already... And it's not easy. I mean, you got just no. a little space to oh, get Oh, that Viper hood in. is so much easier because of how light it is. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is one of the harder hoods in, in the garage. Yeah, this is a but solid still, hood. What an iconic car, 1969 Pontiac GTO. Ram Air. Again, it's not a judge. And that's what makes this one so rare is that it has the exact same drivetrain as a 69 Judge, which is a Ram Air 3 engine and the Muncie 4 speed. And the, uh, they call it safety track, but it's the same thing as Posi Traction. Pontiac had its own marketing name for Posi Traction. Look at that blue on the engine block. Yeah, I, that, I mean, that's the color of a Pontiac engine block from back in the day before you know, uh, GM started putting corporate blocks into everything. Pontiacs were blue. Oldsmobiles were either blue or gold, depending upon the Oldsmobile engine. And I'm trying to think what else. Uh, Cadillacs, what color were Cadillacs? Cadillacs were a different shade of blue than the Pontiac blue. Buicks, all the way Buicks down were the, red. See all the way down to the floor. Yeah. Yeah, so each division of General Motors had their own engine paint color and even at Pontiac it changed throughout the years it wasn't always that one there there were different shades of blue depending on what your Pontiac engine it is so Chris tell me the difference before we fire it up tell me the difference between this and a judge so the judge was introduced in February of 1969 and the backstory on the judge is that Pontiac really wanted to as it did in the early 60s it wanted to get guys to go out there and go drag racing and uh, to really rule, rule on the streets. And so the judge looked the part with that, you know, that carousel red paint that we always joke about that color because it's not really red, it's orange. So the, when the judge was first introduced, the only way you could get it was carousel red paint. You could get a hardtop or a convertible, uh, but it came with either a Ram Air 3 or a Ram Air 4 engine. You could get it uh, automatic or four speed, but it also came with that, that wing. Well, there are guys who didn't want that splash of the judge, meaning that really obvious judge look uh, that it's so known for. And some of those guys decided to get that same powertrain, but without the judge package. So without that carousel red paint, without the, without the spoiler, without the decals. So they wanted that drive line, that Ram Air 3 and the four speed. And that's what this was. So what's interesting is, but when you come back to restoring a car like this, what's the first thing someone does? They put judge style decals on it and they put the judge spoiler on it. And that's the way that, that's the way that we bought it. So this, these decals aren't, are not correct from the factory, but they look the part. And no, when this car left the assembly line in 1969, there was no judge spoiler on it. It just had the deck lid here. But so it's interesting, how did it leave the factory? And then what's in people's minds today when they're doing a restoration to make the car kind of look the part? So again, it is a non-judge. 
during the restoration, the judge spoiler, as well as a pretty cl a judge stripe without the judge emblem, uh, was applied to to the side of the car. So if you think about this, when it left the factory without that spoiler and without the stripes, it was really a subdued looking GTO convertible, but all but it still had the power of the judge. So I hope that answers your question. And that Liberty Blue is just that Liberty Blue is nice. Now, could you have ordered a judge in Liberty Blue? You could have. Could have done it that way. But you know, back in those days, you, you checked off the boxes what you wanted to order, you put your order on in, and, uh, and there you go. So today we see some of those unique vehicles, many of which are one of ones, and this is likely, with the combination of everything uh, with it, is likely a one of one GTO. Not only that, it was built the fifth week of July and if you know anything about the, ch we call it the changeover week, the changeover week of the model years. That was always the last week of July, first week of August. So we have reason to believe this uh, is one of the very last GTO Ram Air convertibles ever produced by Pontiac for the 1969 model year. So Omar uh, says, I haven't uh, placed to win this absolutely amazing, gorgeous car. It, Maybe I should. PJ, if the winner doesn't want this car, I, <laughs> let's arm wrestle for it because you want it. And uh, uh, it's such a beautiful car. It's such a beautiful car. It, re it really, really is. Mike Brown says this GTO is beautiful. It is a beautiful GTO. You know, we talked before about how we find these cars. Sometimes it takes you less than a minute of looking at a car knowing that you'd like to have it as a giveaway car. And this is one of those cases. This car came out of uh, one of the sellers who's on Rhino Classifieds, ryno.co. It's a sister company of Dream Giveaway. And we saw this right on Rhino Classifieds. Yeah, somebody had posted it and we were um, like, oh. Well, not just somebody, FSD Hot Rod Ranch of, of Florida, um, who we have come to know and, and like a whole lot. They posted this car and it wasn't up there for a day before we saw it and we were on the phone and uh, we went and looked at it and recommended that you know the company buy it and before you know it, it's sitting here waiting to be given away larry west says good old-fashioned detroit iron it really really is and listen to this door speaking of speaking of solid steel listen to this huh? shuts oh, good shuts beautiful. really good other options rally two wheels of course now you guys know of course those bfg radial tas i didn't come on it from the factory it came on good years on Goodyear bias ply tires. But that's, uh, those wheels are, we believe they're original to the car. They are on the build sheet. White, uh, white shifter knob, Chris. White shifter knob. Could you have gotten this uh, car without a console? I believe so, but I'm, I'm gonna have to research that. Maybe you could have gotten that four speed without the console. Um, power top came standard on the GTO in 1969. Did not come standard on the Firebird. In 1969, oh, Chris in Florida here with the head, with the convertible down. Oh, oh, turning heads in this one. Yeah, such a neat car. I okay. like this car a whole lot. Now, if I was ordering it from the factory, probably the one thing that I would have included would be power windows. But that that's me. Oh, because we're cranking these windows up. Well, yeah, you know this. I mean, it's a convertible. You already have the power top. I just think it would have been cool to have power windows on this one as well. Uh, but, you know, 50 years later, don't change a thing, right? And the rare Ram Air functions perfect. Ram Air functions perfect. I'm going to show you guys Ram Air. Let's come on over here and I'm going to show you exactly how it works. All right, so first off, up here, we've got the holes, right? You can we've see the up holes. on top of the roof. Yep, yep. And there are flaps. There and are flaps up here. Do you see here? See this cabling system right here? That goes through the firewall. And oh, it, to bring the flaps in, yeah, 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 yeah. Reduce the air, increase the air. Well, to, to block it off for rainy days. That was primarily what they were thinking. So if you come in here, here I'll, I'll sit this way while you look here. You see it right here? That's the, the ram air actuator switch right here to move that, actuate those flaps. Other options on here, of course, that nice aftermarket air. A big shout out to that. Nice little AM FM radio. Uh, and what I like about this, it's a modern design, uh, but it fits very well into that classic dash without 
without interfering with it. So it, it looks the part nice. I know some of you guys would prefer that the vents are not there, uh, but it is what it is and you know it'll keep you cool on a, on a hot summer day. Uh, I think enough talking, why don't I fire this bad boy? Yeah, all right, let's get this thing rolling. Okay. Hood tack, don't forget the hood tack. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. I mean, the driver is perfect spot yeah. for the and driver. And what's cool is it. when you put the ignition in the on, See how that lights up? Oh yeah, up? It lights right up. Yeah, that way you can see what's going on for your for your engine speed. I'll go You're, back. You here guys ready? Let's hear it. You gotta love it. Gotta love it. Great idle. A little bit of oomph to that cam. Wow, loud, very throaty. Yeah, very and, much uh, so. Purrs like a kid. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, some other things that I mentioned in here. There is a gauge pa gauge package in here. But since the tack is on the hood, this pod is absolutely black uh, blanked out. There's hmm. nothing there. You could have got in a could have gotten the clock there, I believe. Mike Brown says, "Love that sound." I love that sound too. Hi guys. I've yeah. been looking at the car, and now I'm going to look at the camera and say hi to you guys. <laughs> Hope everybody's doing good out there. Yeah, today. that's a beautiful sound, honestly. It really is. You know, this is such a such a wonderful car. Someone's going to be super super pleased. I, I haven't told you guys how to get your tickets, have I? No, not yet. Go to www.dreamgiveaway.com. Use promo code Facebook Live. You'll get those bonus tickets. And uh, PJ, when's this one end? <laughs> Chris, we put our cheat sheets <laughs> out here, right on this thing. So uh, yeah. it ends in January of 23. Okay, got it. So you guys still have plenty of time, but uh, you know, enter early. Yeah, you never know where that ticket. Yeah, you never know number. where that that magic ticket is going to be. So may as well enter. Other cool stuff in the Dream Giveaway Garage today, of course, uh, coming up on less than three weeks for you to enter to win the T Rex. And next week we're calling the winner. Next week we're calling the winner for the classic Corvette. I see they're already setting up Studio A for mm -hmm. that call. That's yep. going to be fun. Boss 302 Mustang right behind PJ there, ready to. Go home to some, some person. Yeah, it won't be long. Some we'll lucky be... person, Boss 302. We were Dude. talking all about the gasoline you should use in that the other day. Charger 500, that's another one you gotta put some high octane fuel in. <laughs> Chris, you're gonna just sit here in classic row here for the rest of the day. I'm just going to sit, I mean, why would I wanna sit someplace else? Look at the seat right here, you know? Uh, dig in this car, but you know what? I'm gonna get out anyways. Because getting out of the car gives me one more opportunity to shut the door. Ah, oh, that's so much fun. It is beautiful. Yeah, that's good. One more shot of the engine bay there. Yes, it is a power brake, power steering car. Battery by Odyssey starts the first time <laughs> every the, time. Not the original. Not the original. Beautiful, love so, the color. Nice car. All right, guys. We're going to wrap it up. Why don't we kick that weekend off early? You guys have a great weekend. We'll see you on Monday. More great fun, more great action, more great grand prizes like this 69. GTO Ram Air Convertible 4-Speed Safety Track Rear Liberty Blue. Have a great weekend, guys. We'll see you on Monday. See you next time, everyone. <laughs>